So we were really, really lucky. We'd found an amazing manufacturer in China. We went to trade shows in the start and just sampled with a few, found a really good one. They ended up completely screwing us, but that's another story. Oh, let's hear um, that. Yeah. Let's hear that. Yeah, tell us about that. What happened? Well, they, they copied us and they started making our products on the side and selling them in China and tried to register our name in China. So we learned about IP and trademarks in a really painful way because we didn't do it at the start because it cost money. We didn't have money. And we also didn't know that it would become what it would become. So when they when we found out they were copying us, which was about 2014, and it wasn't just them, everyone then came and copied us, like every brand in the world that was doing swimwear did a triangle version. Mm. Um, and yeah, but they were, the, they were the worst. They were trying to claim our brand and they did a mimic website. And yeah, it was pretty tough. It was pretty stressful, but we learned a lot through it. And we really just kind of, we got our you know, name trademarked in every other place we could um, and I can't even recall if we did in China in the end um, but they did eventually go away and that was just through us just I guess at the end of the day just ignoring them and focusing on innovating and making better product and and moving to another manufacturer as well <laughs> yeah but that was stressful we lost all our product um, because we left them and they wouldn't give us any of our swimwear so we had a good month or so where we didn't have any bikinis to sell and we were still selling them online because we didn't really know if we'd get it back or not. And it was, yeah, there were some real pain points there. Yeah. Hey Founder Fam, we hope that you loved that clip. If you did, you can click through right here to watch the full interview. You don't want to miss this one. See you there.